Hey everybody and welcome back. As you guys know, my foster dog Jazz is now registered with a rescue and she's gonna be put up for adoption. So as a foster mom, there are a few things that I need to do in order to prepare her for adoption and one of those things is taking her to the vet. Jazz is originally from China, so all of her original vet paperwork was done there. And so one of the things that the rescue wants to do is to get her cleared by a Canadian vet just so that we're all on the same page because a lot of her vet info is not in English. So we just want to make sure that everything is covered so that when she goes to her new home, they know exactly what kind of work has been done. So today we are doing a ton of things. She's going to have a full physical exam. Um, they're going to be doing blood work. They're going to be doing a fecal test. She's going to get uh, a rabies vaccine a DHPP vaccine they're gonna do a flea and tick treatment because that is something that you need in Canada here especially in the summer months so she's getting everything everything today she's gonna be completely covered to be honest I'm a little bit nervous about it because she's not too good with strangers she's not too good with new people touching her um, and I've never seen her in a vet clinic like I have no idea how she's gonna react is she gonna freak out like I don't know, so I brought some treats with me and also this morning I spent a long time taking them on a good walk in the hopes that she would be tired and not freak out when we get there. When we get there, we are gonna be meeting with a representative from the rescue, Coveted Canines. They have been nothing but amazing for this entire process so far. So you, if you're in Toronto area, I definitely suggest checking them out. I'm gonna link um, their website down below for you guys to see. They've been great. We're gonna be meeting her there so that she can meet Jazz later today. I'm going to have to approve her bio that they wrote up. That's going to be going on the website for all potential new owners to look at and get a feel for her personality before they go and meet her. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Right now we are going to be going to the vet clinic, which is pretty close to my house. Fingers crossed that it goes well. Also, I think this is the first time that I've ever been with Jazz without Django and it feels a little bit weird. Just a little bit. <sighs> that was a whole thing. Um, <laughs> she was very scared. Um, we had to hold her down so she could get all of her shots and do all of that stuff. And as I knew she would be, she was terrified of meeting the new people and being in a new space. But then after a little while, she was okay. We had to put a muzzle on her just to make sure that she didn't try to bite anyone. But the people at this particular clinic are very well trained in dealing with rescues and with dogs that are not so good with being at the vet. So they were amazing. Like everything that they did, they were just so knowledgeable. Um, and now she's all set. I signed the paper to surrender her over to the dog rescue and we're ready if everything comes back good then we're ready to start doing meet and greets with her potential new family which makes me nervous and really sad